Hi, this is Ryan Lawler with TechCrunch TV. We're here in Austin with Worley and Bartley from Chaotic Moon. You guys uh, built a helmet with a lot of cameras and stuff in it, but uh, tell me first like, what Chaotic Moon is, because this is just like a side project, right? That's right. So Chaotic Moon is a very innovative software company here in Austin. We're three years old, the South by, and so uh, we started by building apps uh, in the mobile space, and we've expanded into mobile technologies and predictive, perceptive, and pervasive computing kind of concepts. Okay, uh, I'm not going to try to repeat that, but um, <laughs> but okay. So tell me a little bit about the helmet and why you wanted to build it and what happened. What's the story behind it? So one day uh, we came into work and we found out that one of our coworkers, Jason Poindexter, had been in a automobile bicycle accident, and so he was riding down the road and uh, got hit by a car, and they drove off. And so he was left on the side of the road. And fortunately, some passersby called 911, and he woke up literally in the ER, as he likes to put it, covered in blood. Uh -huh. um, so <laughs> we wanted to react to that. So in this part of the company, we're responsible for the innovation on demand deliveries. So basically, customers come to us for software or software hardware integration solutions, kind of the bits and the atoms, mm -hmm. and we're responsible for doing things at very, very quick intervals. So what we did is we decided to take a skateboard helmet that I had, mm -hmm. order a couple of them, FedEx, and take some electronics we had around and have Bartley and Phil and the team put together a solution that we thought would help not only raise awareness about bicycle safety and mm -hmm. about the importance of this, but also show helmet manufacturers and other people how fast and easy you could innovate to do things that could really protect people's lives. Okay, so how long did this take you to put together? It's well, just, just under a week. Okay, sure. Um, and what's inside? Can you sure. take it apart? So there's basically a layer of foam that wraps around your skull, but inside, if you look in there, there's a lithium polymer battery a simple microcontroller and an accelerometer and then a whole bunch of connections to the seven video cameras that are used to uh, record the the accident and there's also a microphone as well so that you would get audio too oh wow that's crazy so um how do you tell when someone's been in an accident or when to start sure. shooting because you're not shooting all the time right? no so right now since we, we built this in a week we were like how fast can we make this and we just look at the accelerometer data at the moment mm -hmm. so as soon as there's a large enough jolt we're like, hey, something's wrong here. It starts recording all the seven video cameras simultaneously for uh, 30 seconds at the moment, but we can change that. And there's a large enough storage space to record about two hours worth of video if we wanted to. Oh, wow. That's and, awesome. and like you said, you know, for a week, it was really awesome. We got a bunch of suggestions as people started learning about it, mm -hmm. and we've started looking incorporating those into the software. So mm -hmm. we're working uh, with another company that we're helping that does vision systems. So one of the things is, can we advance the software on there, put the vision system in, and then as you're falling, if it sees license plates, the software could pull them out and, and run them through like a public data system and okay. say, this is the person who from the trajectory most likely hit you, and these are people who are most likely witnesses to the accident, right? Okay. So it has a lot of potential. Okay, that's wild. So I bike everywhere, and you know, of course I wear a helmet, but I've wiped out a couple times. Uh, so this would be really helpful. Can we test it out and sort of see? Sure. You just have to let yeah. Bartley whack you in the head. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, well. All right, I'll turn it on. And then, uh, there you are, just sir. sort of put it on my head. Put it on your head, you might want to strap in. Well, I, yeah. Well, yeah. Do I have to, I can't. You don't it. have to strap in. All right, we sure. Apart. Okay, fine, you can just. Sure, so if you're in an accident, you might receive a jolt to the head. Okay. And then now, the video cameras are recording. There's mm -hmm. a little LED in there, it turns red, so we know it's recording right now. It'll be about a 30 second video clip, and you'll get a, almost a 360 degree view. And if you spin right now, okay. just turn in a circle, uh -huh. then we'll have video on there of all of the different angles and cameras. Of all the, well, we have. We just have like you did. Yeah, that's right. wild. So are you looking to actually build this yourself or? So that's a, that's a great question. So basically we're innovation for companies who already make products mm -hmm. and we've already been contacted by several helmet manufacturers. So we're talking to them about what they could do with it. Um, mm -hmm. We really take these things seriously and the software we build for them is, is kind of a, it's not a science, it's an art, so right, it's a craftsmanship. Right. So we want to make sure we work with the right people right. Uh, and we really want to impact people's lives. So we want to make sure we work with someone who actually has the intent of putting it out there and it's not like a thousand dollar super right, bike helmet right, right, or something. Right. Like uh, to give you an idea, this entire prototype costs us around 300 bucks. So okay. if you did the design for manufacturing and use some different cameras and bought in bulk and stuff, they could easily make a helmet that was in down, the 99 yeah. to $150 range to have these features. Awesome, cool. Well, thanks for having us in the office and showing this off. Um, looking forward to testing it out myself when it's not prototype. We'll build you one. Awesome. Sure. Cool.
Thanks Thank again. You. Thank you.